All right, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick retopology setup inside of Blender. Uh, this one's a little bit quicker than the previous one, and it's really simple. So you've got your high poly mesh, so we'll just call this high poly. High poly. And then we need to create a secondary mesh for retopology over the top of it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a plane and then we're gonna work with this plane, but in the meantime, we need to do all the setup. So first things first, let's turn on snapping and use face snapping. And we're going to say, um, project individual elements. That's what we're looking for. And then everything else we can leave the same. And then we're also going to create a shrink wrap modifier. But before we do that, let's go into edit mode and move the face so that it's snapping to the surface of the monkey, ideally. Let me make sure that I'm actually, yep. Oh, yes, okay, so let's grab one of these vertices. Let's cut this in half first, get rid of the other half, and then we'll snap to the monkey. Start in some arbitrary location, it's not that important, as long as we're not crossing the middle of the monkey. So I know that this is a symmetrical model, so I'm going to use a mirror modifier. So let's go in here, let's use a mirror modifier, which is right here. Mirror it over the x-axis, so you can see there's one on each side. And then we're going to do a shrink wrap modifier. And so the target is going to be the monkey, and the uh, projection type, the mode, is going to be project. And we're going to project in the negative and positive, and we're going to say, instead of on surface, above the surface. So this way, between the snapping and the shrink wrap modifier, our model will now uh, stick to the monkey head and then the other thing that we could do is add a subdivision surface modifier and we can stick this just move this up above the shrink wrap modifier and put it on simple then we can say just one for now and essentially what that does if I switch into wireframe as you can see it subdivides our geometry so that way there's more geometry to stick to the monkey essentially um, the other thing is I'm going to put this in material preview or you could leave it in solid I guess we'll leave it in solid for now we're going to select this retopo, we'll call this retopo, retopo, and in the object setting properties, or just object properties, I believe, yep. Uh, we're gonna go to viewport display and we're gonna say display as textured. We could also say in front, so it's always projected in front of the monkey. Even if we're looking at it from the back, you can see we can still see it. And then the other thing that we can do is we can add a material to it and we can just call this retopo. And then at the very bottom of this, we're gonna go down to viewport display and change the color to some color that we can see pretty easily. So maybe I'll do like a blue, so that's easy to see. And now in edit mode, what I can do, oh, another important thing is in our modifier stack, we should turn on our shrink wrap um, visualizer here, the uh, on cage. That way I can extrude, and now you can see that I can actually take the time to move around these vertices um, and then, if, you know, for those of you who don't like using the hotkeys, you can also just grab the move handle here, and then we can kind of extrude these, or rotate them. And there you go, it's your basic uh, retopo setup for Blender. And occasionally you'll run into issues where um, sometimes the geometry is just too jagged or something, and you'll have to kind of turn off the snapping and disable the shrink wrap. Although, what I would do is I would apply the shrink wrap inside of object mode, um, and you could also right click and say shade smooth if you want, but I would apply this first so that you get the, the outline here. And then what you'll wanna do is turn off the snapping and then make whatever adjustments you wanna make if the snapping is not working. And then you can you know, put, put that in place and then hit control I and create a vertex group. So here, um, vertex groups, so vertex group, assign, and then here, snap. And then when you go to recreate the shrink wrap modifier to finish up your retopo, or you could save that location for the end, that's usually what I do, um, to kind of adapt it. But essentially, uh, you'll create the shrink wrap, and then you'll pick the same target, and you'll set up the same settings as before. So um, we'll say project, positive and negative, and then set this to above object, above surface. And then you'll say uh, vertex group and you'll say snap. And then now it will ignore the changes that you made on this. And then if there are any more vertices that you have a problem with, let's say we have a problem with these. If we try to move this, 
you know, even if we have the snapping on, we try to move it, it'll try to snap because of the shrink wrap. You can see here the points are here, but it's still sticking there. Um, what we can do now is we can go back to this vertex group and say remove. And now when we move it, it will ignore that set of vertices. So that's one way to fix any of the problems that we may run into. And then of course we can also reassign those to the vertex group on snap and the shrink wrap modifier will apply itself to that. So that's basically your very quick and down and dirty kind of retopo setup for Blender. Um, it's actually a lot easier than people think. I know people say, oh, I, I need Maya because you know that will uh, make it easier for me to retopo. And it's like, no, you can do it in Blender. It's perfectly fine. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is turn on bisect. So that way it uh, snaps to the center and also say clipping. Um, so that way when I go to pull it away, it uh, auto completes that edge there. Otherwise, if I turn it off, you can, you know, you can pull it apart if you need to. So just keep in mind that those two settings bisect and clipping are there for you. Just make sure you don't turn on the any of the other axes that you don't need. Uh, there we go. And then we can, you know, go from here and just continue to retop all the monkey if that's what we need. So there you go. Topology made easy in Blender. We could do something like this, and you know, you can just keep playing with the topology. It's totally up to you. Okay, so that's your basic retopo setup inside of Blender. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comment section, and I'll be happy to answer you as quickly as I can. All right, take care.